Hello developers, today we are going to build a custom GPT content generator. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can use in your own projects. We will be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we will be using a popular candy kit which is GPT content generator one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to build your own GPT for all content generator bot today. To build this generative bot on your local systems, you would need the following. First, Llama CPP, which are your Python bindings for C language. Second, Gradio. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. Over the next few minutes, we will cover two key aspects. Download and installation of the kit. Second, demonstration of the kit solution source. Let's start by installing the kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. You can find the deployment information here and you can check the instructions to set it up on other operating systems here. You can then simply go ahead and click on this one click installer. So this will set up all the required dependencies and the needed prerequisites onto your systems. On clicking this one click installer, We can now unzip this zipped file by getting to the space onto our local systems. I will say extract all. After I have successfully extracted this folder, I will double click it, get to the batch file, say more info, run anyway. So this will start setting up the needed prerequisites onto my system. So let the setup happen. Say yes to the requirements whichever are getting installed onto your systems. This model is locally downloaded onto your systems. It may take some time depending on the bandwidth that you are currently on. So you would require 4 GB of space onto your local systems. As a large language model, this is the best that can be provided onto a local machine as of now while we are recording this video. Once you have all the requirements successfully set up, you will see this screen. Go ahead and say yes. This will automatically open the Jupyter Notebook onto your systems. Once the Jupyter Notebook opens for you successfully onto your systems, you would see that this is the first cell where we have imported all the necessary libraries. So after uh, we import the required CPP bindings and the uh, interface for uh, through using which we are showcasing the entire model, the use of Gradio as a module for the same, we have loaded the uh, Llama CPP using the path where we had stored it. So if we go ahead and see, we are basically creating a web-based interface of this GPT for all bot. And this is basically a bot that has been trained on a large data set of clean assistant data, which is which has some code, stories and dialogue. So you can do a QA of sorts with this sort of a model that we are building. So after we have done the required imports, we the next block is where we have your uh, generate method and this generate method takes several parameters including an instruction, maximum number of tokens, temperature, top P value, it has a repeat penalty, top K. So all these parameters are essential for making your uh, you know output result random. I mean the sampling is done and the randomness in the output with the number of tokens with which you will get the response are set using these parameters here. And then further, 
after the you know after we are done setting up these parameters uh, using that python function called generate in the next section uh, with the help of the gradio interface we are including a text box where the user can enter the question as well as we have several sliders and toggles to control the various aspects of the chatbot's response such as the length of the response its creativity and the level of randomness so we have also given a button to generate the response finally the last few lines create the gradio interface and launch it in a browser so when the user clicks the generate button or submits their question by pressing enter the generate function is called with the appropriate parameters and the resulting response is displayed in the interface so this is our uh, as we launch our model or let's say the gradio interface we have a question option to enter the question and then vary these max tokens creativity question so you know the higher the temperature the higher is the randomness in the way the content is generated so the most important part of this model is that it is run on your local machine so let's go ahead and put up our first question here let's say i want to get a give me a blog post of 100 words on generative ai my answer so the processing will start and uh, it will take its own time as it is running on to our system so based on your processor capabilities etc system configuration it will be able to get you the response so yeah here is what uh, it is trying to generate as the content for the query that we had posted to it let me put in maybe some other query here so we want to create a linkedin post for open weaver winning as winning award for the best sme platform at the nas com events let's see how will our model respond we will click on generate so here is what we are having a response from our model congratulations open weaver who were recognized as the best sme platform during the nascom leadership summit so was in part due to their innovative approach to business growth and financial empowerment so yeah that's how you know the model is pretty interesting as it could do a lot of content generation for you onto your platforms so it's just like any other gpt which will keep continuing to generate content and only stop once it is done generating the expected tokens so i hope this was interesting for you guys to learn going forward thank you hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the gpt content generator kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description of this video head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence blockchain gaming and many more try out candy kits now hit that subscribe button and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye